What's up, YouTube? Rain here, and I have for you my new weekly show, Rain's Weekly Gaming News Recap. So strap in and be ready for some hard-hitting news. As you see, what I'm playing is Ratchet, uh, not Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet Deadlocked HD, and I'll just be playing this while I'm going over a quick highlight from this week's news. First off was the new releases for this week. We had Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. Boy, Kingdom Hearts fans are in love with that game, and they're waiting for a 2.5 announcement. Uh, Killzone Mercenaries out for Vita users. You got your finally got your big first-person shooter appetite. Puppeteer is out for PlayStation 3, and that's supposed to be a great platformer with uh, epic boss fights. Carnivores HD is on the PlayStation Store, and that game was like one of my first first-person shooters on PC. I love the game. Gave me nightmares as a kid. I definitely have to get it. Dragon Fantasy Book 2, have no idea what it is, but it's a JRPG, uh, SNES game, Super Nintendo game, NHL 14 for all you hockey lovers, we got Sanctum 2, don't know what it is, Hunter's Trophy 2 Australia, don't know what that is, Sony had a little conference today, or not today, this week, or was it late last week, in Japan, and this conference announced two big things. First off was the PlayStation Vita TV. And this PlayStation Vita TV, it's essentially what it is. You get to play your Vita on your TV. It's pretty nifty. Uh, it's cool because like, you get this little device, it's $100. You plug in your Vita or your memory card, or no, the Vita game. You can plug in the Vita game plug in your Vita memory card and then you connect your DualShock 3 and it does remote play to your TV and that's pretty cool if you want to play on the actual TV but not every game is supported because some games require you know the Vita's touch screen the touch pad the gyroscopes uh, using the sunlight and all that like Uncharted Uncharted will not be available to use on the Vita TV uh, other uses for the Vita TV that they demonstrated includes using it for, um, what was it? So you have your PS4. You want to play, but someone wants to use your TV. And you can now, with the Vita TV, you can go to any TV in your, like, within the range of your router, and you can start playing from there. You don't need to remove your whole PS4 system. That's very helpful for, like, families. Other announcements is the new Vita 2000 or the Vita Slim 5 inch LCD screen, no more OLED. We got uh, it's 20% thinner, 15% lighter, 6 colors white, blue, yellow, pink, gray, black, an hour longer of battery life, and 1 gigabyte of internal memory. So you don't need to buy uh, you don't need to buy a memory card really, even though 1 gigabyte is still pretty slow, uh, small. That's what they were aiming for. And, uh, I'm trying to think what else was there that they said. Uh, they also said that it's Wi Fi only, so 3G users, you won't be getting 3G with it. Though I don't know if anyone ever used 3G on the Vita. <laughs> the other news is, uh, some fans are developing a Time Splitter's Greatest Hits remake. And it will be coming to the PS4. And the kicker here is Crytek, who consists of the original developers, they're uh, supporting it. And I think that's just awesome for the original developers to do that. I wish that the original developers that Crytek USA has would support a Darksiders 3, but we'll see when time passes by how that goes along. Soul Sacrifice Delta was also announced at Sony's Japan conference, and it's pretty much a re-release of Soul Sacrifice for Japan only. And it just has like additional like quests. I think all the down free download content missions. I don't know. I like Soul Sacrifice. I really thought it was a part two. It's not. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, P 
PS4 for Japan. Uh, this is a hard news for those in Asia and Japan. I think it's all of Asia, not just Japan, but... February 22, next year. That is when you can expect to play your next generation console. And, you know, you have to think about it from Sony's perspective. They're guaranteed to sell in Asia. Microsoft does not do good in Asia at all. Sony's main uh, place to worry is in America and Europe. And that's where they need to come out. They need to come out there faster than Microsoft, which they are officially. So, just gotta be patient. And they'll be including a free uh, knack inside every copy of the PS4 for Japanese users, which is cool. And there'll be better uh, titles available by that time. I don't think, uh, you know, Asian gamers really want to play Drive Club, Killzone, or, uh, you know, Battlefield, Call of Duty. Like, there's not enough JRPG titles, not enough uh, titles that the Asian market would like as much. So I think it's a good move in the long run. You know, I was just bluffing earlier. I knew Ratchet would pull it off. Something Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation was an amazing Vita title. Probably Vita's first big exclusive game. It was awesome. I loved it. A little glitchy, but it's an Assassin's Creed game. What'd you expect? And it's now getting an oh, HD uplift. It's coming to PS3. It's coming to 360. It's coming to PC. Woo, woo, woo. And uh, the graphics look more amazing, which is awesome. And there's supposed to be extra missions or something like that, I don't know. Uh, there's a new JRPG being made by Ubisoft, Child of Light. Don't know much about it other than it's colorful, it's, it's breathtaking, like just looking at it. And it's made by the Far Cry 3 team, so they're busy. Because they got that. And they're uh, helping with the Assassin's Creed 4. So that's interesting. Speaking of Assassin's Creed 4... They showed a new little tech demo or whatever, technology demo of uh, the PS4 version. And it was showing off, you know, like all the uh, ocean and foliage tech and uh, vegetation, lighting, fog, actual rain particles. I mean, it's, oh, man, you guys have to watch it. I mean, I'll try to link it in the description. It's on the official Sony uh, YouTube channel. It's also on... Uh, Ubisofts, I believe. And it just looks amazing. Call of Duty Ghosts has released a new trailer, campaign trailer. And, man, this trailer, you just have to see it. It features a father talking about giving your life for your country. It's more than just giving your life. It's about giving up your child's life. And it has a dog attacking a chopper. Oh, a dog attacking a chopper. <laughs> and firefights in space space with no gravity space space Lego Marvel superheroes is coming out this fall for all pretty much every console available you know you got the PS3 you got the 360 you got the one you got the full PS4 you got the Wii U you got the 3DS you got the Vita <laughs> probably PC as well I mean that's just crazy well, some new news is Stan Lee is playable in the game. And yeah, he usually makes cameos in games and movies, so that's not new. What is new is they're giving him 11 powers. I mean, he has telekinesis, he has uh, mind control, spider sense, web swinging, hulking out, optic eye blast. What else does he have? Uh, Super Mally ability, you know, like uh, Mr. Fantastic. He can hack computers like Bruce Banner. Magnetic powers, and last but not least, he has immortality due to his adamantium skeleton. That's right. He's pretty much the uber god of the game. Uh, other news includes the Grand Theft Auto 5 map was revealed just a week before release, and it is ginormous. I mean, it is huge. It is just crazy. Uh, to give you an idea of how big this map is, you can take the San Andreas map, you can take the Grand Theft Auto 4 map, you can take what other map? 
Red Dead Redemption's map. Combine them all together, you know, scale them to size, and the GTA 5 map is just barely smaller than all three combined. That's how big this game is. That game is released this Tuesday, 17th, September 17th. You can download it starting Monday or Tuesday midnight. Uh, midnight Eastern time this time. Even though Rockstar originally said you'll be able to preload it Monday morning, it looks like that was a mistake. So that sucks. Well, the news was there related to gaming this week. Uh, Galaga Legions DX was free to all PS Plus users. Don't know what it is. Download it. Haven't played it. Will do later on. Um, Infamous Second Son has revealed their pre-order content. And boy, if you enjoyed Infamous 2's pre-order content, you know, where you got the Sly Cane, and you got Kessler's costume, you got some new alpha, uh, new weapons and all that, you're absolutely going to hate this pre-ordered content. All you get is Vess for Delson. Yeah, Vess. Wow. Vess. That, that, that's just... Great job there, Sucker Punch. Great job there, Sony. I can't wait to try a new vest like on my Ken doll. Or, I mean, Delson. Whoops. But, uh, the vests, they're, they're not bad. Some look uninspiring. Some are pretty awesome designs, like the Penny Arcade one. But, uh, yeah, if you're into that thing, go ahead. Pre-order. Get your special vest. <laughs> What other news? Uh, I think that was pretty much it for overall news. I mean, there was some other stuff like Battlefield news that uh, level cap. No, EA and LA Dice, Dice LA, whatever. Dice LA and EA has invited several YouTubers to their headquarters in Los Angeles to try the game out, a newer build, and they let them record all they wanted. I mean, they had truly no barring, no. Uh, NDAs to go over. I mean, they had all. I mean, they had a small one with like some special knives they weren't allowed to talk about for some odd reason. I guess it's like a dinosaur hunting knife or something. I don't know, but that's what they got to do. And uh, there's been several videos from like Level Cap and Winter Gore and uh, well, Drifter and Dastro, and they're pretty cool. Uh, Level Cap pretty much goes over every single gun in the game. He's still uploading videos, so. If you're if you want to see what kind of get guns there are and the field upgrades, you need to check out Level Cap Gaming YouTube channel. It's pretty awesome. I love it. I love the design of the new Scar H, the M16's three round burst. Pretty epic. Other Battlefield news is Dice has uh, gone over Battlefield 4. If you buy it for current gen PS3 360. And you want to get the next gen version? All you have to pay is ten dollars. For Microsoft, you have to trade in. You have to trade in the game to like GameStop or whatever uh, uh, retailer you go to. You just trade in your original copy. You get the new version for ten dollars. For Sony, you get a special voucher inside your copy of the game that you'll probably have to input on your PS4. You input it. You get the digital version of Battlefield 4 for only ten bucks. That's a good deal because you keep your current gen one and you get your next gen one for a total of 70 bucks and that one you have until March the Microsoft one I believe you have until December to do so Sony has more leeway I mean I like it personally I'm not biased no but oh, that, that seems to be about it for today's weekly gaming news recap so until then guys I'll catch you guys next week with more weekly recap from Sunday to Saturday Actually, Saturday to Friday, because I'm doing this on a Saturday. And this will probably sound a lot better next week, because for my birthday on Monday, I am getting a Blue Yeti microphone. Yep, yep, yep. I'm finally reaching the big time. So until then, guys, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and all that jazz to help my channel grow. And until then, take care. Stay frosty.